finally Chantelle from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this food tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Masterman vegan curry and I'm using a brand called Masery which I get at the Chinese um, supermarket. I hope you can find it in your local area as well. This is 114 grams and I'm just going to use a full one of them for today. There's a couple of other ones that you can get, a green and a red curry and a Penang curry and they're about $1.39. So other than, than the Masterman curry paste that I have, I have a cup of coconut cream and I also get that at the Asian grocery. This one, this brand's really good because it's purely 100% coconut kernel extract. And then I have some zucchini or courgette some potatoes and some sweet potato. So I've got one sweet potato, two potatoes and one zucchini and I've just diced all of those. And I just also have about 400 grams of chickpeas that have already been cooked. And what I'm going to do is just put them all into the wok here and then we're going to go over to the stove top and cook them. And the thing that I like about these is um, there's no added anything other than just the ingredients. So you've got garlic, sugar, soybean oil, chili, tamarind juice, shallots, salt, lemongrass, spices, kaffir, lime, and galangal. So now we've mixed it and we're just going to bring it over to the stove top to cook. So I'm just going to heat this up on the stove top in the wok now. And you can make different curries with all those different sauces. You can add tofu, you can add tempeh, any other veggies. But this is quite a simple thing to do. So all you need is the paste, some coconut milk and co all coconut cream like we use, and just some veggies and some beans. I've also cooked some quinoa previously, so when this is cooked, I'll add the quinoa to that and that'll be a meal ready to eat. So what we're going to do is just cook this and simmer it for a while. I will come back to you when it's cooked. Okay, and um, we've just cooked the Masaman curry and this is how it looks. What I'm going to do is to put in some quinoa that I've cooked already into a bowl and then I'm going to put the curry on top. Just a couple of spoonfuls of that and then I'm going to put a bit of the curry on top. Also a couple of spoonfuls. And that is what a Masaman curry looks like. I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you've seen how simple it is to make a vegan curry. Have a look at vivalavegan.net for more information and join us for our next food tutorial. Thank you.